idea. No, fool, I thought of it first. You think? That's a laugh. <laughs> Stop this arguing! He started it. It was my idea. Actually, it was my idea. Are there any objections? Good. Rat -a rat Here you called? I have an idea. Oh, <laughs> great one. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Oh, how clever you are. I haven't told you yet. Yep, oh, yeah. but it will be clever. <laughs> Tell me. I will bring together the most fearsome ghosts in the universe. Simmering specters from Saturn. Gasping ghouls from distant galaxies and shrieking. Oh, then we could trap the Ghostbuster. That was my idea. I don't believe I heard you correct me. What did you say, Fangstar? Oh, it was your idea. Why, thank you, Fangstar. Now then, these ghosts. They will be the worst of the bad! Oh, I love it! Yeah, I love it! And they shall take care of those miserable ghost bunglers! <laughs> the time has come to set our trap! Brilliant, your awfulness! And you, Rattarat, will be the bait! Yep, still me? Yes, my little rat! Jessica for dinner. Take your time. With me in charge, everything here is gonna be just fine. And you can count on that, Jake. See you later, guys. Uh, uh, don't worry, Jake. I I'll be ready for anything. What is that thing supposed to do, Trace? <laughs> it's terrific, Trace. But what does it do? Wait. A banana split? Tracy, old pal, you really are something. Oh, you reached the Ghostbusters and nobody's here, especially Eddie. Uh, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, who is this? Help! Help! A big bad ghost is going to get me! What can I do? Uh, now that's all right, little girl. I'll be there to help you. Where are you? I'm in this little town up in the mountains. It's called Goldmine. Please send help. Well, we'll be right there. A bad, bad ghost is chasing a poor little girl. Well, we've got to help her. Hey, don't you think you better wait until Jake gets back? No, I'm in charge now, and I say we help her. Well, let's get the team together. Ghostbusters, front and center. Okay. Come on, Tracy. Let's go, Ghostbusters! <laughs> I'm in charge now. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. 
I'm sorry, but I'm the commander of this mission. Just my luck. Uh, where's our destination, Commander? Uh, it's a little town in the mountains called Goldmine. We're on our way. Ah, such a peaceful evening. For once, we don't have anything to worry about. But I did leave Eddie in charge of the office. Oh, Jake, I'm sure everything's just fine. I hope you're right. Jake! Look! Oh, my gosh! Come in, Eddie. Come in, Tracy. GB, please come in. Oh, they must have the communicator shut off. Better check with Ansibone. Okay, Ansibone. Come in, Ansibone. Eddie and the big bozo have gone off on their own. Where? To gold mine to rescue a little coil from a ghost. I think you've got a problem. I think so. Can we use your copter to check it out? Sure. Let's go. Gold mine dead ahead. Yeah, okay, Tracy. We're here. <laughs> This place is an old ghost town, but we're not going to let that scare us, are we? <laughs> Whatever those ghosts dish out, we can dish right back, huh? Right, Trace? <laughs> like a good place to start. Nothing much going on here. That's what you think. <laughs> Ghost bunglers, we've been waiting for you to join our little party. <laughs> 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 Throw them in 
jail. It's time for our evil ghost convention to make a few nasty plans. Now, wait just a rotten minute, Prime. This is my town. I control this town, Sheriff, and you'll do everything I say. That's what you think. That's what I know. <laughs> Let me give you some advice, Sheriff. Learn some manners. I control this town. Yes, sir. Now go. Yes, sir. Boy, I really did it this time. Don't be too hard on yourself, Eddie. You are trying to do the right thing. Besides, we've got other things to worry about. Yeah, like how to take care of those bozos out there. I got it. <laughs> Tracy, I think we're gonna need something more powerful than a toy tank. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's going to attack us! Oh, what, 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 what's going on? I... I can't know. Oh, uh, the mini freezer. A mini freezer? Oh, Tracy, that's great! How long will they be frozen? <laughs> Ten hours? Uh, uh. Ten minutes? Uh, uh. Ten seconds? Uh -huh. Ten, Ten seconds? seconds? Let's get out of here! Oh, <laughs> My specialty. Who said that? Sh 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 Chef Stumbleweed? The same. But don't be scared. Remember, I told you I'm a good ghost. Oh, yeah. And listen, everybody makes mistakes. Because if and you don't, you never learn nothing. Look at me. One of my biggest mistakes was letting that prime evil and his gang take over my town. But I want him out. Now! You do? I sure do! Got any use for this? The dematerialize! But it's broken. Then we better find your friends and see if we can get it working again. Maybe you can help me kick that prime evil and his nasty pals out of town. Eddie, where are you? We're right here, Jake. Ah! Don't scare me like that. Yeah, sure, Stumbleweed wants to help us. Sure do. But if we don't move fast, that primeval's going to turn those ghosts out there loose all over the world. Tracy, we've got to get this thing working again. Oh, 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 okay. Order. 
and you, my great ghostly army, will march forward! Earth will be ours! Yes! 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 The Earth will be ours! Oh, sounds good to me! Oh! Yahoo! Hold on there! Who dares interrupt me? The Sheriff of Goldmine! That's who! And I say this town isn't big enough for the both of us! <laughs> you and who else says that, Sheriff? Me and my friends! Yow! Trace, hurry up and fix the dematerializer! <laughs> you ghost yum! Busters are bigger fools than I thought! With you out of the way, Earth will be a ghost playground forever! Tracy, hurry! Tracy, I I've got an idea. Yeah? Listen, the dematerializer broke when it got a real hard whack. Maybe that's how we fix it. I give it a good hard whack. So much for that idea. <laughs> An energy fold! Look out! Eddie, catch! Okay, it works! Primeval fixed it! Eddie, zap him! Oh, the dematerializer! Look out! Out of my way, clown! Some manners, fool! Okay, partner. It's you and me. <laughs> you old saddlewart. You dare confront the master of evil? I sure do. What fool? That won't stop me. Uh oh. The old evil eyes are lighting up. Let me give you a hand, old timer. If I can just borrow your hat. Well, uh, sure. This should put a lid on Prime's evil eye. No! Thank you, God, the boss! Time to head for friendlier haunts. I'll cover our escape. Sounds as though he wants to go back to haunt quarters. Can you help him along, Tracy? Okie dokie. Why'd you throw me the dematerializer? Well, you were the commander of this mission, and I knew you could handle it. Thanks, Jake. But we couldn't have done it without our friend Stumbleweed. Well, I do thank you. And just remember, as long as I'm sheriff here, Goldmine's gonna be a good ghost town. So come on down, anytime. Yeah! All right! You got it! Wow, well, that's serene! <laughs> In today's show, Eddie was in a big hurry to take charge. He sure was. He didn't even tell Jake where he was going. What Eddie forgot was that taking charge means being responsible. Right. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a leader, but it doesn't mean you should jump into something without thinking about the dangers. That sounds like advice we could all listen to, including you, Belfry. What? Me? Listen, you overgrown shadow box. You, you...
guess these. What did you say they were called, old boy? <coughs> They're called Thunder Ghosts, and don't call me <coughs> old boy. Yes, quite right, yes. <laughs> yes, old chap. <laughs> Thunder Ghosts, what? <laughs> Nasty looking crew. What do they do? They do this. <laughs> The Thunder Ghosts scare the clouds into making it rain! I say, what good is that or be? Merely gets everything wet, what? <laughs> you fool! I shall send them all over the world to create tremendous rainstorms and huge floods! The people of Earth resist me now! <laughs> but when they're up to their knees in water, then they'll be willing to bow before the rule of the great, the mighty, the majestic primeval. <laughs> Wonderful, old boy. Hunter, if you call me old boy just one more time, I'll stuff your whole body into that stupid helmet of yours. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, majestic one. That's better. Now, there's just one insignificant problem with my plan. Uh, the, the, the Ghostbusters! Right. <laughs> Even though they are bumbling idiots, they might be able to stop my Thunder Ghosts. So I want you to capture them. Me? <laughs> Me? Myself? <laughs> I say, dash it. I can't do it alone. Very well, then. You can have help. Gangster will go with you. Egad! Must I have Gangster, old boy? Gob! I mean... Old boy, Haunter. <laughs> now, get going. <laughs> and I don't want to hear any excuses. <laughs> Magician's hat, Tracy. That's not the way to do it, Tracy. Here, let me show you. Uh, Eddie, I really wish you wouldn't. You know how you usually mess things up. Don't worry about me, Jake. I know what I'm doing. Away. Not only that, Eddie, but now it's raining through that broken window. Gee, I'm sorry, Jake. I guess I'm not much good for anything. <laughs> yeah! Oh, <laughs> Caught a blooming rod! <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh, yes. Now I remember. Hmm. It appears those Thunder Ghost chaps are hard at work already. Well, I'd better get on the job. Dare shit. Come on, you mangy mongrel. Why do I get all the hard jobs? I don't think that'll keep the rain out, Eddie. Sure will, Jake. Look, dry as a bomb. Good, Eddie. Real good. Gee, I'm sorry, Jake. I just wanted to help. 
<laughs> it's the Hunter and Fangster. Um, right, you are, champs. I'm afraid we've come to capture you. So be good, lads, and stand still a moment. What? <laughs> afraid not, Hunter. We're going ghost-busting! Ha! <laughs> 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 ah, one down! That lot of good that furry flea bait was. Now I've got to do this myself. <laughs> Inside too hot around here. Hey! I'll just take one of these chaps for now. Prime Evil will have to be satisfied with him. Ugh, Tracy, get me out of here! Great! Just great! This definitely was not one of our better ghost busting efforts. <laughs> And now Primeval's got Eddie. We'll have to rescue him. Tracy, the answer phone. Uh, this number has been disconnected. Knock it off. Ghostbusters, Jake here. Jake, Jessica here. I'll bet it's raining where you are, right? Right. H how did you know? Because it's raining all over the world, Jake. <laughs> Looks like Primeval's come up with some new tricks. You're not kidding, Jessica. Let me tell you what just happened. Uh, no time, Jake. You better get up here fast. I think Primeval is trying to flood the world. Flood the world? We're on our way, Jessica. <laughs> Eddie, you'll have to wait a bit. Come on, Trace. Let's go ghost busting! <laughs> Sniffing schnozzle is correct. There are ghosts around, too. They're close. Real close. Tracy, get back to the wheel. Nobody's steering the... Ghost buggy. My aching radiator. <laughs> well, fancy bumping into you up here. Funny. Nice job. Come on, Jessica. Eddie's gone and we'll need your help. Where is Eddie, Jake? That's what I was trying to tell you. Prime Evil took him. What? Jake, that's terrible! I know. It's a bad situation. We have to stop these Thunder Ghosts from flooding the world. But meantime, Prime Evil has my pal, Eddie Spencer! I send you after the... Ghostbusters, and all you bring me is Eddie Spencer? Well, yes, she's a Ghostbuster, isn't she? Barely. I, I, I resent that. Be quiet, you worthless fool. And as for you, Haunter, when I told you to capture the Ghostbusters, I meant all of them. Capturing this bumbling idiot does me no good at all. All he ever does is mess everything up and cause trouble. Jake Kong and Tracy are still out there, ready to bust my thunder ghosts. I, I, I say, uh, off with Sally, old boy. <laughs> I warned you about calling me Old Boy Haunter. Now get Eddie Spencer out of here. Lock him up in our deepest, darkest dungeon. I never want to see that nincompoop again. <laughs> what the hell, chap? Yeah, and don't call me Old Chap. I'm afraid he doesn't think much of you as a ghostbuster, old boy. That's okay. Sometimes I think Jake feels the same way. That goofball Spencer is absolutely worthless. The Ghostbusters 
Might even be better off without him. But wait a minute. Hmm. Perhaps I can still turn the situation to my advantage. Maybe I can make a trade. Oh, primeval, you sly old dog. You are clever. <laughs> Jake, I'm worried about Eddie. Prime Evil's a nasty customer. I'm worried too, Jessica. But we have to stop these thunder ghosts before they flood the world. There's another bunch, Tracy. Let's bust them! Ha! Three more down! How many more to go, Jessica? Oh, about three million. Jake, this is going to take forever. Oh, no, look! They're ganging up on us! Jessica! Dive, Chibi! We're not going to catch her! Only one thing to do! The jetpack! Have to hurry! Oh! What? Who is it? Who saved me? Jessica! Good driving, Tracy! You caught her! Yes, thank you. You know, it's the strangest thing. What is? Well, when I was in the cloud, I could have sworn somebody wonderful kissed me. Oh. I couldn't resist it. Ghostbusters! Oh, hello, Prime Evil, you vile villain! <laughs> you say the nicest things! By the way, Jake, I've captured your friend, Eddie Spencer! We know that, Primeval, you rotten lowdown! Forget the compliments, Jake, old boy! <laughs> I've called to make you a proposition! I'll trade Eddie... for... What do you want, blast you? Forgot my hat! That has to be Eddie. I guess he's okay. Sorry, I tripped. Spencer, you clumsy. I'll call you back later, Jake. Now get out of here, you ghost-busting buffoon, before I really get mad. No, no, oh, no. That's interesting. What is it, Jake? Prime Evil was about to offer to trade Eddie, probably for one of us. Even me? Yes, maybe even you, Tracy. Uh, even more. But don't worry about that right now. Do you think you can come up with a device for getting rid of all these thunder ghosts? Uh, uh, even more. Looks good to me. Let's get back to the office. But what about Eddie? There's no telling what Prime Evil may do. There's no telling what Eddie may do either. Oh, Jake, I wish you'd stop being so secretive. What are you going to do to rescue Eddie? Yeah, well, nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. What kind of plan is that? Look, you guys, we all love Eddie, but he still drives us crazy sometimes, right? Yeah, so? So? Imagine what Prime Evil is going through right now. What in the name of evil are you doing here again? You know that dungeon of yours? Really a rotten place. You should put some nice curtains in. Maybe a video game? Haunter! I said, did you call me? Yes, I did. I thought I told you to lock Eddie Spencer up. I tried! Oh, Old bee. Yeah. Really, I did. But that ghost pack of his is too strong. He keeps breaking out. Yeah, these ghost packs are great. Want to see how they work? <laughs> Sorry, 
Sorry about that, old boy. Sorry, old boy. I'll give you sorry. <laughs> 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 Are you all right, old boy? I'm all right, but you won't be. Find him! Find him and get him out of here before he destroys the place! Hmm, why not? Prime Evil said that all I ever did was cause trouble. Well, now I'll cause trouble for him. Maybe I can drive him crazy. <laughs> net of yours works great, Tracy. The Weather Bureau reports more Thunder Ghosts over Tokyo, Jake. Then let's go get them. Wait, a radio phone. Jake here. Well, hello, Prime Evil. Wh what's that? I said you can have Eddie back. I don't want him anymore. Sorry, Prime Evil, but you'll have to keep him a while longer. We're too busy busting your Thunder Ghosts. Thunder Ghost myself. Well, I don't know. It's kind of peaceful here without him, old boy. Oh, but <laughs> Jake, please. Oh, uh, all right. Get rid of the Thunder Ghosts, and we'll take Eddie back. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Eddie's back, and the Thunder Ghosts are gone. Prime Evil kept his word. He had better. I told him we'd send Eddie back if he didn't. Oh, come on, fellas. I'm not that bad. Besides, for once, my clumsiness paid off. <laughs> of course it did, Eddie. Come look at the beautiful day you helped bring back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eddie. You know, Eddie, you may have saved the world from being flooded, but darn it, you're still the same old Eddie we know. Yeah, yeah, the Eddie we know and love. God, gee, guys. <laughs> <laughs> In today's story, Eddie felt unhappy because he sometimes messed things up. But everyone makes mistakes. The important thing to do is to learn from your mistakes so you won't do them again. And remember, don't get discouraged if you mess up sometimes. <laughs> it happens to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Eddie. Yeah. Stand by. Test firing will commence in exactly five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Hiya, boys. What's cooking? Taffy? Oh, 
Hi, Grandpa. We were, uh, testing Tracy's new ghost gummer. Yeah, you, you see, well, uh, the gummer tangles up the ghost in this, this... and... oh, forget it. You remember what today is, don't you, Yake? Sure do, Grandpa. Dad and I are gonna meet you at Liberty Island this afternoon. Today I will be sworn in as a citizen of the U.S. of A. Jake told me. That's really great. Uh, it has been my dream to be an American citizen now for a long, long time, I can tell you that. On the television, it's Jessica. I'll be reporting live from Liberty Island, the site of today's special citizenship ceremony. And we'll also be unveiling the freshly polished Statue of Liberty, our national symbol of freedom. <sighs> symbol of freedom? Double bar! If it's a symbol those, those humans want, I'll give them one. <sighs> I'll fix their puny Statue of Liberty so they'll never forget who their true master is. Me! It was very kind of you to take us on tour, Madam Mayor. My pleasure. You see, both my parents came to the United States from the old country when they were young. They still talk about seeing the Statue of Liberty when they sailed into the harbor. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> what? Huh? Is that what I think it is? If you mean a ghost, you're right! This is a job for the Ghostbusters! Oh, ouch! Easy there! Have you reached the Ghostbusters? They can't come to the phone right now. They're too stuck up. <laughs> Why can't we have a regular phone like everybody else? Hey, I heard that. Ghostbusters, Jake speaking. <laughs> it's Jessica. What? Ghosts at the Statue of Liberty? Okay, Jess, we're on our way. See you downstairs, Grandpa. Let's go, Ghostbusters! you guys ever use doors? Put her on flight mode, Tracy. <laughs> With that big ape driving, it ought to be fright mode. <laughs> Ouch! There she is, the Statue of Liberty. My nose is twitching. Jessica was right. There are ghosts here. The 
This is where they saw the ghost. <laughs> My nose. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost bunglers. Mysteria. So, Prime Evil is behind this. Mm, maybe. <laughs> and maybe not. <laughs> Come on, Ghost Busters. Let's bust this ghoul gal. Well, come and get me, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh boy, am I out of shape? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Ghost Bungler. <laughs> 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 Use the dematerializer! Right! Dematerializer! Eddie, be careful! Work, Tracy. Oh, thanks, Trace. I owe you one. Okie dokie. There's not much time left. The swearing in ceremony starts soon. Oh, uh, will the Ghostbusters get it uh, done in time, Jessica? Oh, don't worry, Mayor. If anybody can do it, the Ghostbusters can. Oh, yes, Payump and Yemini, those boys are fearless. Uh, I don't suppose we can go home now. <laughs> uh, too bad about your hairdo, Mysteria. What's wrong with it? You're a mess. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Oh, darling, you gorgeous ghost, you. Well, goodbye, oh, darling, you miserable Mysteria, you. <laughs> no! You freaked me! You won this round, ghost! <laughs> but I'll be back! Yeah. Oh, the mayor will be able to swear in Grandpa and the other new citizens in peace. I want to thank you again, Ghostbusters. It means very much to me to be sworn in as an American citizen right here at the foot of the very Statue of Liberty itself. And now, the big moment we've all been waiting for. The swearing in of a group of new Americans who have come to us from every part of the globe. But first, the unveiling of the renovated Statue of Liberty. It gives me great pleasure to unveil this statue, originally a gift from the free citizens of France, a statue which symbolizes all we hold dear. A lady who has been a beacon of hope for people everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Statue of Liberty. It's... it's prime evil! It's pandemonium here on Liberty Island. In place of the Statue of Liberty, we have prime evil! I've got your precious statue so you can have mine! <laughs> Where is the Statue of Liberty? Grandpa, we let you down. We let prime evil steal the statue right out from under our noses. We're beaten. You're not beaten. The only time you're beat is when you stop trying. Something tells me you're not gonna stop trying, right? Right on, Grandpa. And thanks. 
Why does this always happen to us? Tell me, Jake, why? Eddie, that's it. What's it? Why? Madam, why? Maybe she can help us. I thought you'd drop by. I heard on TV everybody blaming you for losing the Statue of Liberty. Can your crystal ball find it? Ah, already has. Great! Where is it? The Statue of Liberty is in the New York Harbor. <laughs> Madam, we wouldn't be here if it were still there. If my crystal ball says it's in the harbor, it's in the harbor. Wait a minute. Maybe it is under the harbor. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Thanks, madam. <laughs> You've turned this ghost buggy <coughs> into a ghost boat, and I'm <coughs> seasick. <laughs> Think pleasant thoughts. That'll make you feel better. Pleasant thoughts, pleasant thoughts, let's see. I'm home in my garage. I've never heard of the Ghostbusters. <laughs> see anything, Eddie? Nothing. Just a wreck and a big old cave. A cave? Mm, that's just the kind of place primeval would use. Grandpa's right. We'd better check it out. I really hate to bring this up, but... Uh... How will we get down to it? Like this, Eddie. <laughs> Gee, Jake, I don't have mine with me, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. And I don't owe you anymore. <laughs> That's better. Now let's go find that statue. <laughs> we'll see about that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take care of this. In person! <laughs> There's the cave! Look! Hold it, guys! That light! There's something fishy about it! Something fishy coming right up! Well, guys, what do you think we ought to do? <laughs> the ghost gummer against that monster octopus? It's our best shot, Eddie. If the ghost gummer's our best shot, Jake, I'm afraid Prime Evil's already beaten us. We aren't beaten until we stop trying. Right, Grandpa? Right on, Jake. Not much time left. The ceremony starts soon. Hurry, guys, hurry! <laughs> Come on, <laughs> ghost bozos! <laughs> Busters. 
Don't say that name! I, Primeval, shall use every ounce of my wondrous wickedness to once and for all demonstrate my mastery over those measly mortals. It's gotta be here someplace. Yeah, but where could Prime Evil hide something as big as the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Jake, look! <laughs> oh no! Prime Evil shrunk the Statue of Liberty! Jake, I know that. We're not beaten, Jess. Not yet. But there's nothing to be done, Jake. Prime Evil used all his power to shrink the statue. Such a terrible loss. I just know we'll get the Statue of Liberty back. Somehow. <laughs> Grandpa Kong, they're ready to begin the citizenship ceremony. Well, that's one thing Primeval can't take from us, by golly. I just hope your father gets here in time to see me become a citizen. Dad'll be here. Even though we don't have the statue as we had hoped, it is my pleasure to lead you, the newest citizens of the United States, in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America. America. And to the Republic, for which it stands. One nation, under God. Indivisible. It's getting bigger. With liberty and justice for all. I can explain. You see, things like liberty and justice don't come from books or statues. You're right, Jake. They come from our hearts and our spirit. And that's something more powerful than primeval ever imagined, my golly. Congratulations on your citizenship, Father. Thank you, son. And congratulations to you guys for getting the Statue of Liberty back. It wasn't just us, Dad. Yeah, it was everybody. But we couldn't have done our part without your help, Grandpa. Well, what's a Grandpa for? <laughs>